Friday night. Welcome in week 12 of Football Friday Night, the playoff edition. Playoffs. That's my Jim Mora voice. Uh, opening round tonight in South Carolina. Right, in Georgia, some teams fighting to make the postseasons. Others already know what seed that they have. That's right, so we're going to so. begin in 4A South Carolina. We'll work our way down to some of the top seeds in the state in Class 1A. North Augusta tonight hosting Myrtle Beach. North Augusta trailing 7-0. Their second drive of the game, Bradley Godwin finds Jordan Wilburn on third and long for a 45-yard gain. They had run that play the play before, and it was called back on a penalty, so they just went back to it. Same drive, Cole Sagas punishing run up the middle inside the 10-yard line. He was making people pay. Then Godwin, a little pump fake, and he finds Jordan Wilburn at a huge night for the nine-yard touchdown pass. Extra point, no good, so it's 7-6, North Augusta trailing. Myrtle Beach answers with back-to-back -back touchdowns, the second of which here, North-South selection, Ramsey Lewis to Nick Moss. Moss in it, 56-yard touchdown. Chiefs up 21-6, 4 left in the half. North Augusta, though, drives it down. Austin Harrell in at QB, lobs one up. Jordan Wilburn, Randy Moss in it for a 22-yard touchdown. Yellow Jackets made it 21-13 at the half. And they lose in overtime. They were fourth in goal from the eight, 38 to 31. North Myrtle Beach winner. Our other 4A school in the playoffs, South Aiken on the road at Hartsville, taking on the two seed out of Region 6. Second quarter, South Aiken's EJ Hickson finds Jonathan Burns, finding his way all the way to the end zone, 14 13. T Breads down after the missed extra point. Still in the second, South Aiken kicker Ethan Yeomans. Gets the field goal, 16-14. T-Bread's up at the half. Move to the fourth quarter. South Aiken going for it on fourth down, but big stop from the Red Foxes defense. Ensuing drive. Darian McMillan goes in from the one. Hartsville takes a 20-16 lead. And then Hartsville's Owen Taylor goes in for two, 22-16. This one finishes 28-16. Both of our 4A teams bounce from the playoffs. All right, and 3A Strom Thurman hosting Battery Creek Rebels, wasting little time opening the drive here. Stanley Hill takes the handoff, and he's going to ramble 15 yards for a huge first down. Watch this. Battery Creek is flagged for a late hit, and 15 more is going to be tacked on. Two plays later, it's Jaquan Harris. He connects with Brandon Williams, and the 6'4 tight end takes it all the way to the house. He's a big guy. 7 nothing Rebels. Now, moving to the second quarter, Rebels on the move. Stanley Hill takes it around the left side and inside the 40 this time. And Strom Thurmond, they roll over Battery Creek, 44-14, the final. Wow. All right, in Class 2A, Barnwell, the number two team in the state, taking on Hannah Pamlico. Barnwell's second play from scrimmage. Craig Pender was their leading rusher last week. And, well, <laughs> starting out again, he's making those Jamari Chisholm and those boys a uh, 60-yard touchdown run. Uh, guess what, though? Called back. Our mm. folk talk having a little fun with me on that one. A few plays later, it's T.J. Miller following Briggs Kears, one of the best linemen in the area for the touchdown. 7 nothing Barnwell. Their next possession, Pender. Again, going to T.J. Miller. 20 yards, first down for the War Horses. Two plays later, Pender hands off to guess who? Jamari Chisholm. Touchdown. You said his name. 14 0 Barnwell. I'm going to say it a lot here in a second. You know Still in the will. first quarter. Third play of the third drive. Uh, yeah, Chisholm. PAT no good. Barnwell up 20 6. Barnwell would score again in the second quarter. Uh, Chisholm in from the one yard line. 27 6. First Barnwell drive in the third quarter. Jamari Chisholm. <laughs> say Comes his up name. A little, say his name. Right? <laughs> uh, they led 34 6. He had five touchdowns, might have had six. We're still trying to find out. Barnwell rolls 55 to six. All right, Bamberg Earhart. This game, Colin, game of the night. Why is that? Taking on Mullins. You'll see. Red Raiders up 14 nothing, but all Mullins in the second half. They started down 14 nothing. That's Marcus Chandler to Alan Leggett. Two point conversion, so it's 14 8. Okay. A little later in the half, handoff to Damari Platt. Makes two people miss. Another two point conversion. Mullins now up, Colin, 16 14. Bamberg couldn't get anything going. Trayton Snell under mm. picked off by Nazil Robinson. That's with three minutes left. Mullins runs the clock down until there's nine seconds left. Colin, watch this final play. Bamberg needs three points to win in their own territory. Flea flicker. Oh Bryce Chandler goodness. to Trayton oh Snell. Oh my gosh! Uh, look at this. He's gonna throw it back to Kavion <laughs> Tyler. He gets a block. The clock goes off. The game is over. There's no more time. 
Winner, a walk-off from Bamberg Earhart on the final play of the game to beat Mullins 20 to 16 <laughs> on the road in the playoffs. The Flea Flicker, the Tennessee Titans, would be proud of that one. Right? Man, that's worthy right there. Top play. Saluda had the fortune of being at home to start the playoffs. Tonight, welcome in Blackbird. And it's all Saluda. Tigers within the 10 here. Noah Bell to Dallin Wright, who fights to get across the goal line. Then the Tigers within the five again. This time, Bell finds Jeffron Witt. Touchdown. Now for one of a little further out. Burrell moves around the pocket, launches the 35-yard dime to hit Dallin Wright for the score. Saluda wins big, 42-7. They take on Buford in round two next week. And Fox Creek hit the road tonight to take on Gray Collegiate Academy. We start early in the first, and it's Hunter Helms escaping pressure. Watch the stiff arm. Mm, get off me. He throws a TD to Nakeem Smith right there. They're up 7-0. Next great collegiate is their possession. Hunter Helms taking care of his ship. Lobs it up to Omarion Dollison for the bobbling catch. And that's a touchdown. Great collegiate wins 42-7. All right, for 1A, we go to our Autumn Johnson. Last season, the Wilson Elko Blue Devils left the McCormick Chiefs scoreless, 36 to 0. This season, the Chiefs are seeking revenge and looking to protect their home field to kick off the first round in playoffs. First quarter, number one, Javier Rudolph lobs it all the way to number 10, Adrian Chandler, and he completes the pass and tries to outrun his defenders but gets forced out of bounds. Next play, same duo, Rudolph connects to Chandler for a big gain. And falling right after that, number two, Deshaun Singleton secures the pass, breaks the tackle, and takes into the end zone. Wilson Elko up 7-0. Still in the first quarter, the Chiefs defense had the Blue Devils back deep in their own territory to force the safety. Scores 2-7. Second quarter, here's number three, H.N. Durant on the carry and finds himself in a swarm of Blue Devils defenders. And next play, number three, Durant finds the same hole in the middle, but this time for six, and the revenge is what McCormick will get. And they'll go on to win 56-35. And next, Coach King and the Gators opened up a big 33-6 lead going into the second half when we arrived. And a lot of that credit goes to the defense of for shutting down the Vikings all night as Raekwon McNeil causes havoc in the backfield. Plenty of scoring to keep them busy tonight after a long Derek Bethia run. It's Jacorius Ford right through the heart of the Vikings untouched for six. Gators were cool, calm, and collected on the night as Hunter Norton scores the game's final touchdown on a hard-nosed run. That gets Coach King jumping on the sidelines. Not a bad way to start the road to Columbia as Coach King and the Gators take down the Vikings at home. Final score, 54 to 12. Back to you guys. Thanks, Autumn. We're going to keep it in Class 1A. HKT on the road against Ware Shoals. Our friends in Greenville sent us some video. They didn't send us any uh, of the plays. I can tell you that's Ware Shoals uh, getting it down close. And then HKT going to get picked off here. By Ware Shoals, HKT falls tonight on the road, 20 to 12, the final. All right, let's show you some scores from 1A. Ridge Spring Veneta, a big winner on the road, 47 to nothing. They get it done. Don't go away. Football Friday night just getting started here, Colin, on the playoffs. Edition. Playoffs. And coming up, we'll take a look at the GA side of things. That's right. You're watching football.